hello welcome to my uh, another t video tutorial and in this one I want to show you how to add a sign up box to your WordPress site uh, with a MailChimp. MailChimp is a bit more complicated when it's coming to the styling of your sign up box and in most cases if you want to have something very very fancy and uh, customize you will need to go for a plugin and I'm afraid most of the plugins that will do the job nicely will um, are paid ones but in this video I will show you how to add the very simple sign up box um, with the WordPress and MailChimp. So I guess you already have a MailChimp account. You need to sign in, sign, um, log in, and go to lists. Then select a list. I got this one, which is um, kind of brand new. Then, as you can see, I have no subscribers yet. And uh, to generate a form, I need to click on the sign up forms and that will take me to the screen where I can uh, create a general form and that is form that people will be directed using a link so it's not ideal but just to show you we can we can um, customize it a bit I have a header here with my uh, image and then I got um, email address and first name should be the other way around actually so let's do it like that and uh, I would like to change the subscribe button so I need to go to design it and forms button let's make it uh, nice pink this one will do it's not exactly as on my website but let it be for now and um, the reason why why I'm showing you that is because the embedded form will have just these fields that you have on the general form so for example if you want to have more fields like um, a number or if you want to um, ask for address or website or something like that you just need to you just need to click on that box and that will add the website here I don't need that so I just need to delete it okay and once you have all the fields you want we need to go back to sign up forms again go for embedded forms and that will take us to the screen where we can slightly customize it so we can change the subscribe to our mailing list heading we can just delete that or untick this part then we can uh, choose either all fields or only required fields so that will leave just the email address but we want to have a name as well so let's just leave it as it is and then what we need to do is copy that code and then go back to our widget area in our WordPress site where we can add the form and just one more thing if you would like to add a little bit of a graphic in here as a header if you're offering a freebie and you have some covers or you want uh, some nice topography you can create a graphic same width as your sidebar and to add it we will be using a plugin called black studio tiny mc MC widget. I will put the link below that video so you can just go and install that plugin on your site. So let's just drag the widget here where I want to have my sign up books. I need to paste my HTML. Go back. It's a little trick we need to do to make sure the header is in the right place. Let's put a, a little text, go to visual, 
Now let's highlight these, click on add media, select our header, just make sure it's the full size and align it center and then click insert into post. There we go. Hit save and let's go back to our site to check what we got. Okay, so this is how it looks. It's not very impressive, but as I mentioned, um, unfortunately MailChimp doesn't give us a lot of uh, styling options. Um, so if you want to go for something more advanced, more fancy, you will need to go for some of the um, plugins that uh, are in most cases paid. I will be doing some reviews in the future so make sure to subscribe my, to my channel and if you like that video click the like button. So stay tuned for the next uh, tutorials that will make your website better and uh, more beautiful. Bye for now!